Hi, you guys. So I finally caught up on posting all of my vlogs yesterday. So sorry about the ambush, but I just needed to get them all up. So I was all caught up. Um, we'll see if I can keep this daily thing going. It's harder than it seems. It really is. Um, anyways, I am on my way to class by way of the thrift store because I had some time to kill and I'm still looking for quilts. Hi, please be my friend. <laughs> Would it be weird if I walked up to them and was like, I'm a Swifty too, let's be friends. Oh man. Maybe I, put, I wonder if I put a sticker on my car if they would stop me. <laughs> oh, these, this whole wall of blankets and towels and curtains and other bedding. Not a single quilt. Not even like a baby one. What a bummer. I was really feeling hopeful too. So they had quilted things, but not like pieced and, you know, like a quilt. They just had like, it was like printed and then they quilted the print. You know what I'm saying? That's not what I'm looking for. Um, wow, I really managed to get myself in a... Okay, let me get out of here. Ninety-nine percent sure that guy is following me. It's really annoying. He was all the way over at the blankets, which is literally across the store, and now he's over here in women's shoes. I think I scared him away. It's literally so sad that we have to do that. I had to like literally pull out my camera and like stare at him in the reflection of the thing. He was definitely like looking at me. I'm like. Get out of here. Get out of here. So when I go to leave, if I still see him, like in my peripheral anywhere, I'll ask them to walk me to my car. Anyways, okay. Who saw? Back to happy place. Okay, back in my car, safe and sound. When I got to the register, I asked if they had security and she said no. She asked why and I said, I think someone's following me around the store. And she was like, which one? And I was easily able to point him out because he's still like kind of lurking. And um, she's like, okay. So she calls over like a manager type, another woman, but still like a, I guess a little bit higher up on the chain. I don't know at the, thr at the thrift store how the hierarchy works, but um, she came over she was like, what's going on? And so I told her, she was like, oh, she was like, okay, cool. She was like, um, not a problem. I'll walk you to your car. Um, and you know, even if he doesn't like try and follow you out there, obviously he's still here. So I'll make sure that he doesn't like try and bother anybody else. I was like, okay, that's cool. But that hasn't happened to me very often. Um, but when it does, man, it's scary. I don't know what he's up to. I don't know. Like, and you know, better be safe than sorry. I listen to a lot of Dateline. So <laughs> my mind is always thinking like worst case scenario. Um, but you have to have to be paying attention. Like if I were just like in my own world, I might not have even noticed him following me around or following me to my car or following me. Like once I get into my car, is he going to follow me home? You know what I mean? Like you just really have to be very vigilant and then not let the fear take over. Like I was in a public setting. There were lots of people there. Um, so when I started filming him, I didn't feel scared at that point. I kind of dug deep to find like some kind of defiant mood, you know, where I was like, and yes, I'm filming you. What are you going to do about it? You know, stop following me kind of thing. That was like the attitude that I had to take over. Um, but it's fine now. I'm all good. He did not follow me out of the store. Um, I didn't even see him in the parking lot as I was leaving. And the manager now knows that he's like, just not buying anything and like looking around for who knows what. Um, he wasn't with anybody, like it, it was all just so strange. But anyways, hopefully that helped me sharing that helped somebody else the next time that they're out and about. Okay, I did end up getting a couple of things. One 
like a suede vest which again I know sounds weird but you gotta like layer it put it with things I've been wanting like vests to wear with my summery dresses um, like my short sleeve dresses because then that makes it appropriate for this 65 degree weather. Another thing is I found these like kind of cool, I don't know if they're pillow shams. I don't know what they are, but they look like they could be a really cool wrap around skirt. That's where my mind went. We'll see. They were $3 um, for the pair. So I felt like that was a low investment, low risk. Um, so we'll see how those turn out. And then I just went and got a lunch treat you guys, if you're sleeping on the Bojangles, their chicken sandwiches, I don't know what it is, are good. A thousand times better than Chick-fil-A. Like, I don't get why Chick-fil-A is so popular. I mean, it's good, but it's not like bomb diggity dog good. <laughs> okay, it must be Taylor Swift day because I am walking up to Stash for class and her song Long Live is playing on the radio here. Like... Yay, that makes me so happy. Made it back home from class. It is. <laughs> it took me that long to read a clock with hands. 4.15. They normally eat at 5, so we have 45 minutes. But they are losing, losing their minds. A second ago... Biscuit was like behind me, like rubbing her whole self on me. I thought I could catch it on camera, but it seems like she's going to be chill once people are watching. But Honey's still being kind of crazy. Like Honey's never around.